Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Augusto Argandonia Fine Arts. Anytime in this narrated tutorial you can click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and also I would appreciate your comments about this particular video, this particular tutorial or any of the other videos, uh, tutorials that I have in my channel. If you uh, like to learn more about my classes, uh, you can also uh, visit me at my website at aafinearts.com. This tutorial is about uh, sketching. Most of the tutorials that I have in my channel are in regards to watercolor painting. So I thought it would be ideal to show you a little bit about the fundamentals of uh, any uh, artistic endeavor that uh, pertains to painting. Um, while painting is ideal, it's nice, it's good, and everybody likes to do it, especially if you have a fair amount of talent or if you're a novice, but the foundation to any painting, whether it's ac acrylics, watercolors, etc., the foundation to any painting is drawing. And the foundation to drawing is sketching. And that's what this video is about. There are many materials to use for sketching, um, one of which is the paper. There are varieties of papers for sketching. Uh, some have some texture, some have um, a less texture, have some more tooth to the texture, others don't. I prefer the paper that has very little or no texture at all. Um, um, that is primarily papers that are fairly smooth and um, in the tray they are called Bristol papers, um, Bristol illustration type papers. They are very, very smooth uh, and uh, they are very similar to the papers that you, you would uh, see at uh, printing uh, uh, area locations like here in the United States, Office Max, Office Depot, Staples places like that. If you uh, get um, some prints, if you have some copies, you can do your copies on regular paper or you can request card stock. When they give you card stock, it will be like this paper, would be very, very smooth. It's a little thicker than the, than the regular paper, but it's an ideally suited paper for, for sketching. Uh, Otherwise, sketching paper comes in a variety of uh, uh, sizes and shapes, and uh, some are bound into book-like configurations, or they have spiral bounding, and uh, you can use just about any of those. For this purpose, I'm going to be using the cardstock paper that I acquired at uh, Office Max. Now, the next part is and equally important is the other items that go into it, the sketching or the drawing. There are a number of types of pencils, some of which, like this, uh, are um, lead-based pencils. Um, they are very good pencils. This set happens to have all the B, H, and the F pencils. Um, you can attain a variety of effects with this type of pencils. However, they do have one drawback, and the drawback is because the lead, the, the point is lead, it leaves a residue both on the paper as well as your hands, and that gets into your clothes, and uh, when you put your hand on the paper, it smudges, so uh, while this paper, those pencils are beautiful pencils to use, that's the drawback. Because of that, I do prefer other types of pencils. Now, you can use the standard number two pencil, but it also has lead tip and that leaves that residue. My favorite pencils for sketching are 
the Prismacolor type pencils. This Prismacolor pencils come in two forms. Uh, this is the Prismacolor very thin. It has, does not have a lead tip uh, and it doesn't sm smear on the paper or doesn't leave any residue on your hands or your clothing. Or the standard type of uh, um, pencil, Prismacolor brand, that has a, a, a round configuration as opposed to the very thin, which is a this hexagonal configuration. This don't leave any residue either, and that's why I, they're my pencils of choice. I prefer this. And I use some black, I use some gray, dark gray, and some of the browns. And of course, if you don't like to do your sketching with pencils, you can use pens. And these pens are uh, coming um, in various tips. This happens to be a 08. You can get them from very, very thin, uh, 00 or 01 up to 08, and perhaps a larger denomination than that. Uh, there's also these other pens that have a, they are calligraphy type pens uh, that have a flat tip, others have a brush type tip. But I don't use this too much. I do prefer the, the pencils. There's also some uh, uh, pens that have a, a tips that are similar to the ones that I showed earlier, and also tips that have a flat uh, tip, or rather pens that have a flat tip as well as a brush like tip, which gives you different effects like this. So there's also, uh, for to sharpen this type of pencils, you can use some you know, this very inexpensive uh, pencil sharpener. I usually have uh, you one of this when I'm outdoors sketching. When I'm in my studio, I have an electric sharpener. And the other thing I use sometimes is this uh, erasing shield that I used to use when I did the illustrations. Um, this is, it has different openings to be able to erase smaller areas. I, because it's metal and it's very, very thin, almost the, the thickness of the paper. Uh, in fact, this is probably thinner than the paper I will be using. Um, I use the edges and some of the curved sections or circle sections to do certain effects that I want to attain when in the course of my sketching. But I don't use this too much. I just wanted to show you uh, for, uh, so you can, for your own information. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna do some sketching using this Prismacolor wax type pencils. Uh, I'm gonna use two colors that I'm going to use the dark gray uh, and I'm going to use a brown. I believe this is um, dark brown so I'm going to use that. Uh, there's also a sepia and um, actually this color, these pencils come in a variety of colors. You can get them in 12 color, 18 color, 24 color, 32 color sets. Uh, I just use this for my sketching. So I'm going to start with uh, one of these browns. I'm going to sit down. And what you're going to see here in this sketching video is a very free way of sketching. This is not drawing. The drawing would be more um, uh, carefully done. Uh, more thought of uh, subjects uh, drawn very carefully and uh, will take a lot of time. These are very quick sketches. So the most important thing when you're sketching is how to use, how to hold the pencil in your hand. I'm going to use this larger pencil. Some people, especially young people these days, they hold the pencils and pens in strange forms. Some go like this, some hold, hold the pencil like this. I've seen some writing like that. 
and they hold them in, in, in between the last two fingers and they write like that or they hold them like this and it's just no way you can do a decent sketch holding your pencil that way. So hold it comfortably in your hand like that and do not over grip. The moment you're doing this and the moment your finger nails get, get, get white, then your hand is going to start quivering and you're not going to do a successful sketch. Just hold your pencil comfortably in your hand this way and just hold it like that. Sketching is basically the wrist movement. It's not the whole arm. You're not painting like painting on oil, doing an oil painting or a watercolor or an acrylic painting. It's basically a wrist motion. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to do some palm trees. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, uh, royal palm. And uh, one thing that you should never do while you're doing the sketching is to use an eraser. This is a no-no in sketching. Because what happens when you start using the eraser is you're going to start erasing lines and trying to do something else and you can be striving for perfection. Sketching is not perfection. This remember, this is not drawing, it's sketching. So if you're not uh, familiar with your subject, you can do a series of lines like, like I'm doing. It doesn't matter. Uh, from here, you go to, see, this is the way to sketch. This is not going to go to any museum, any gallery, anything like that. So, and then, then you can do the, the fronts of the palm like this. You're sketching, you're not drawing. So, and the faster you do move your hand, the better it will be. And the more you get used to doing that way, sketching this way, holding your pencil this way and be very free with the movement of your hand, the better you will be in time as far as your sketching is concerned. The royal palm fronds uh, tend to fold at the beginning of the main section of the, of the front, what you would normally call the stem with other plants. And once you have your, your palm that way, then you can start darkening. And um, usually I prefer, there's a number of ways to darken areas. You can use the, hold the pencil this way. And I use, I do this quite often. And uh, with the broad side of the lid, you can just darken a whole area like that in one or two passes. Uh, in this case, I'm going to have the light coming from the right. And here's the, and then I'm going to also darken some areas of this pond this way. Like that. And then you give it a little bit of a ground, some grasses or whatever to the base, and there's your royal palm. The next palm, I'm going to use another pencil. I'm going to use a different color. This would be a brown. as a coconut palm. The coconut palm are either straight up, or if they are on, on the coast, they come in a, in a conf different configuration. So, you know, they're kind of leaning towards the wind. In this case, I'm gonna just do it all straight up. Like that. And um, 
the, the main horns come straight, almost straight, and then they curve uh, towards the end. Unlike this, that curve all the way. Some blend with the wind. And this, you can do the fronts two ways. I'm going to show you both ways. The main fronts coming out of the main stem are fairly straight, so like that. And as you do this, don't don't rotate the pencil because you're creating an automatic flat section on the lead on the tip. So and that works ideally for the way this fronts and the coconut palm are shaped. Again, just like in this palm, do them fairly quickly and can keep in mind that coconut palms are, are um, swaying in the wind and the breeze, so do them that way. Again, the faster you do, you hold your, the faster you move your hand, the better your, your sketch will be. I'm going to make this a little taller. And as I, as I said earlier, you can also do this. Okay, but this way seems to work much better. Just wanted to show you both ways. Now I'm going to continue using that flat section of the tip. Same thing, these pounds are swaying in the, in the breeze, so, and they, those ends of those pounds don't always look like this. They, they may have different shapes when they are blowing in the wind, so, and you can darken some areas a little bit more. Depends on where you have the light coming from. Um, so this portion of the trunk is going to be much darker. Casting all of these fronts or casting the shadows there. And the rest will be like this. And same thing. Maybe I'm going to bring another one over here. There we are. So I'm gonna give it a base, some grasses. There you are. Okay. Now, then I'm gonna do a little little palm here. This is called the um, so palmero. It's a smaller palm. Um, it doesn't grow too tall. Uh, probably about at most ten feet. Very very at most. So, and. Uh, the, the fronds are come out and form a clump in the center, like this. Like that. A little darker in some areas, a little lighter in other areas. And give it a little bit of a base, some grasses or whatever. And that's pretty much the so palmero. So there you are. 
royal palm, the coconut palm, and the soap palmero. By now, as you can see, this tip is, has a pretty flat area. And so this way you can do, you can, while the tip is like that, you can do a number of things. You can do very wide sections, or you can do just rotate where the tip is thinner and do very fine sections like that. So this is uh, sketching at its best. And uh, like I said, I use varieties of pencils. I also have this uh, very thin pencil. Um, I'm gonna do a little quick little palm tree here. Um, the tip on this very thin is much thinner and uh, it's not as thick like that and you can produce much finer sketches, as you can see here. Sketching is a really fun activity and uh, I, I usually keep a sketchbook with me in my car all the time and a sketchbook and I keep one of these uh, sharpeners and I keep a pencil like this, I, some, I keep this type of number two pencil and uh, two or three or whatever of these other pencils all the time with me. And uh, sometimes, you know, I may, you'll find yourself at an airport waiting for your flight, or you find yourself at a doctor's office, or, or while the wife is uh, shopping, or the husband is doing some shopping and you don't wanna go in the store, you just sit down in your car and sketch. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as you sketch. You can sketch trees, you can ske sketch deciduous trees, palm trees, you can sketch cars, you can sketch people, you can sketch stop signs, whatever. It doesn't matter as long as you're sketching. The more you get used to this, the quicker you're gonna become with the sketching and the more that the quicker you, you will, uh, your eyes will tell your brain what it is that you want to attain in the sketch and the quicker that your brain will tell your hand do it this way or do it that way. So sketching is a lot of fun. It's an excellent pastime and I strongly suggest and recommend it uh, for um, occasions where you have a few minutes, uh, you don't, you, you don't want to read, you don't want to do anything and that you may be a little bit bored or waiting for somebody and just sit down and sketch. You can sketch in your car, you can sketch in your, at a table at home, you can sketch anywhere. That's the beauty of it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. And please visit my website at aafinearts.com. There you will see information about my classes, including sketching, which my class for sketching is called the art of sketching. Um, I don't appreciate it if you would uh, um, subscribe to my channel and send me on some information, um, comments, etc., about my tutorial videos. Again, thank you. Until next time.